Hi, welcome. I'm Shivali. I teach uh, UniDosh um, on behalf of my bank. UniDosh is a really wonderful program in that it teaches students how to manage their finances once they go into the big bad world of uh, university life. Um, we set it up so that we illustrate where they're going to get their money from, um, the different various ways that they can manage their money, um, what they're going to be spending their money from and how eventually they're going to have to repay it back. So in, it involves activities like budgeting, um, just awareness of prices, costing, banking, um, kind of covers hopefully everything that they need to know and it's a really fun interactive session and yeah I think the students really benefit from it and we really enjoy delivering it to them. My name is Roxanne Brown and I'm 17 years old. I still want to go to university but I think it's unfair on the students that are already at university that might mean they have to pay more money than the new students that are coming and stuff. But everyone can afford what um, the university are saying that they have to pay and some people might come out of university and not get a job straight away so they might be under stress and not able to pay back in enough time. I don't think less people are going to apply because I think most people these days want to go to university and get a good career out of it. I just think they're going to be wary on what they spend their costs on. I haven't really experienced it, but I think for other students it might be a bit worrying if they can't like stick to their budget. I'm Norma Cohen. I'm demography correspondent at the Financial Times. I write about economics and population change. Uh, I think programs like this are fantastic. I work with a financially sophisticated group of people. And because I have a specialism in pensions, many people ask me questions about pensions. And I'm kind of horrified that financially sophisticated adults don't have the grasp of the kinds of numbers that they ought to have to run their daily lives. So I think it's great that youngsters should be taught how to manage their finances and understand money. Hello, my name is Sonaru. I'm 16. I'm Hansen. I'm 17. Well, I think it's making um, the incentive to like go on into higher education kind of difficult because people have less chance of like getting the financial support and I think it will discourage a lot of people from um, applying to unis because they can't get scholarships so I think it's a bad decision. I think it's fine, honestly. <laughs> they, they have to make a cut somewhere and okay. I'm not for or against it, I'm just, I don't mind. Don't you think it would just make the like, economy weaker? Like, because you've no, got less, no, because you've got... unsustainable. You have to think about a bigger picture. No. If they can't sustain you've got to look to the future. Spending, then it's Wait, fine. If they, if they cut it, yeah. if they cut... be more efficient, say. If they make cuts, um, there'll be less people going to uni. That means that the, um, the workforce will be um, less educated. It's not always a and, bad thing, um, either. No. It is a bad thing. Because, if you think about it, strong economy relies on um, education. The foundations of edu um, a strong economy is about education. No. Yeah. I think it's fine too. I disagree. Um, it's made me think about moving outside of London because it's more expensive to get an education in London. So that's that's all I can see at the moment. But I have to see when I'm like actually looking for uni. So I have to decide then yeah. based on the cuts and stuff. Most people haven't got the um, funds to apply for uni, and if they haven't got the support of um, scholarships, they're definitely not gonna apply for uni. So definitely, it's gonna be less people applying for uni. Okay, we don't have a choice. You see, she free every uh, because every individual still says they're going uni, but they think others aren't. So if every individual thinks the same way, then they're still going uni. So instead of thinking about others, think about yourself. And everyone is saying they're still going uni. No, but people thinking about like themselves and their income, they might not have enough income to go uni. They might be relying totally on this um, scholarship. So if that isn't there, if that but they haven't got that option, people, and you don't know what they're going to pick. No, but everyone else has got different okay, financial no, circumstances. They're still going uni, right? I don't know if I'm that going uni or not. Many other people. I don't, know, I don't know if I'm going uni. Many of us don't know if we're going uni.
it's gonna the um, deciding factor in a case like this would be would be the cost of it. I'd be Haley seventy. I wouldn't say I was less likely to, but I think it definitely affects the um, the fact that universities can't get more things like equipment and things. It means you can't spend the money that you'd want to spend. You've got to be more careful with your budget. I'll probably move out because I'm looking for art courses and things. So I'll probably move out of London. So it'll probably be a lot cheaper as well. Um, I'm still sort of looking around for courses at the moment. Maybe I'll start with them um, looking at graphic design or looking at smaller sections or something. I think, yeah, I think it's important for me to get a part-time job as well. That way it's a bit more easier to manage your money as well. And you've got, you've got that extra finance coming in. I think if they're going to keep cutting things, you might as well just go for something normal and just keep working your, at it as hard as you can. Um, I think education in this country is kind of... It's, it's kind of hard to comment on because they change. Everything's changing. Grey branches change. Um, the amount of funding that goes into it changes. I think, okay, we have to cut back on certain things now anyway because of recession and money problems. But without education, you can't get a job and you can't start paying back into the economy. So if you haven't got the funding to do the course you want to do or get the equipment you need to do, it can, in the long run, have a big impact.